And here are the top five security facts for this week. Syria is speaking out, accusing Israel of being behind an attack in the south of the country in October. Reports out of the Syrian capital saying an Israeli aircraft fired two missiles at its forces based near the border on the Golan Heights. There was no immediate word on casualties, but there were reports of damage. Jerusalem repeatedly says it will stop terror groups like Hezbollah and other Iranian proxies from entrenching themselves in the region. A top Iranian general is speaking out after a cyber attack that crippled gas stations across the country, saying the enemy's goal has been thwarted. General Ali Shamkani blaming the attack on a foreign country, taking to Twitter in Hebrew, English, Arabic and Persian to say that the enemy's goal of fomenting unrest through gas shortages has been thwarted thanks to what he calls the coordinated and timely action by Iran's executive, security and communication agencies. Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi saying Wednesday's cyber attack was designed to get people angry by creating disorder and disruption. More than 4,300 gas stations were impacted by the attack. Tehran has in the past blamed Israel of provoking unrest during protests. Russia and its allies have conducted joint military drills near Tajikistan's border with Afghanistan as part of efforts to prepare for any security threats. The so-called war games, bringing about 5,000 troops and more than 700 armored vehicles from Russia, Tajikistan and several other former Soviet nations, all members of a Moscow-led security pact. Russian officials saying they trust the Taliban's pledge that they won't threaten neighboring countries, but note that the Islamic State, Al-Qaeda, and other militants in northern Afghanistan could try to destabilize the neighboring Central Asian nations. Hamas has announced it sentenced six Palestinian informants to death for collaborating with Israel. The Islamist terror group's military court saying it had issued sentences against a number of informants, including six death sentences and other punishments, including life terms and temporary hard labor, plus one acquittal. The terror group takes a strong approach to collaborators with Israel, adding that the judgments issued have fulfilled all legal procedures. The 21st century arms race is reigniting with the U.S. announcing plans to create a hypersonic missile following China's successful launch. The Pentagon saying the pursuit of hypersonic capabilities is real, it's tangible, and the U.S. is working towards being able to develop that capability. Hypersonic missiles travel at around 6,200 kilometers per hour. That's around five times as fast as the speed of light. And those are your top five security facts for this week.